Hey, what's happening everybody? Rajay back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Going to take a look at one tonight from Evil Twin Bruin. This is Ryan and the Beaster Bunny. So this is a 7% ABV Saison Farmhouse Ale. I have not had this one before, so looking forward to checking out another Evil Twin beer. On the side of the label, they do have a little bit of a write-up, so I'll go ahead and give you that information as well. In Denmark, we have a lovely tradition for seasonal beer, and what you have here is certainly no exception. This is a never-before-seen collaboration between Ryan and the Beaster Bunny, a fluffy and precious saison originally conceived off on the beautiful island of Fano on the west coast of Denmark. It may sound like a true fairy tale, but don't be fooled by its cute appearance. So really, nothing about the beer there, but that's the uh, little story write-up they have on it. Just happened to pick this up at one of my local brewery shops and uh, thought I'd give it a shot. Let's get it open and get into a glass and check it out. First look at the Farmhouse Ale. We definitely get a nice golden color to the beer. And wow, look at all that carbonation taking place. You can see all the bubble action, even through that slight haze, just racing up the glass nicely towards that white head. Now the head itself came out just about a finger, maybe a smidgen more than that, but it looks like it's going to dissipate rather quickly, so not sure how that's going to play out as far as lacing the glass any. But that slight bit of haze is on there. As you can see, you cannot see all the way through to see me on the other side, so do have a little bit of that haze, but really blown away by just all that stream and carbonation. A nice look on what that appearance is as everything runs to the top. As far as the aroma, it comes out of the glass very nicely, so you're not having to really sniff too hard to pick up some of the aromas. I'm getting a little bit of what I would consider to be like a sourness type note, but really that spiciness, almost like a peppery smell, is really driving off of it a little bit more. A little bit of kind of a, a breadiness, maybe like a little of that uh, biscuity type aroma. But really, the peppery and what I would also consider to be a little bit of a clove type smell is what really seems to be driving the aroma. As far as the taste, oh wow, wow, that is, that is pretty good. Wow, I don't really get anything too much on the bitterness. You get a nice explosion of flavor in the mouth. You pick up some of that spiciness in the taste itself. Goes right off the tongue, right into the cheek area. Goes down smooth on the back end. Nothing really lingering. It has an, almost like a refreshing quality on the back end as you swallow. It's not fully dry, but it's nice and crisp. Carbonation on it is pretty much perfect. I mean, you looked at all that stream in action, and it's not overly carbonated at all. I mean, it's, it's very palatable. The feel of it is just very smooth. There's a nice prickliness on the tongue. It really does have that effervescent type quality. Wow, and at 7%, having a few of these, well, I guess would definitely catch up with you, but it's smooth enough. You could sit there and go through a few of these without any uh, problem, really. Wow, and the more I drink it down, the more I'm getting just the mouth tingling. Just the, the flavors are often, the flavors have a nice duration but then you're getting that good mouth tingling sensation with it as well. This is one I could definitely drink for a while. Very nice. As far as the style assessment, it's pretty much right there on the style. Everything you expect to have from a farmhouse ale, but overall, it's pretty much killer. If, if you're a farmhouse fan, it's definitely a must try. If you like farmhouse ales or you like things that might not be as bitter, but you want more of that spicy type kick or the malts more forward than the hops definitely one to check out again this is ryan and the beaster bunny from evil twin brewing a very pleasurable beer definitely one i uh i'm enjoying and with that spice and everything that i'm having with it right now with the mouthfeel i'm getting it's also one that i would say might be also good with a cigar as well and as far as the body on this one, you're looking at a medium to full body. Not totally full, but somewhere in between that medium to full type level. So there you have it. Thanks again for checking out another video. Hopefully you like what you saw there. And 
Uh, hopefully, I will see you on the next one. As always, please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you've had this one before, let me know what you think of it. Put some comments in the comment section, but definitely one worth checking out. With that all being said, keep drinking good craft beers. Cheers.